The ground trembled below as if something beneath was begging to escape, toppling buildings that were already at the brink of crumbling. This was not only concerning for the Aramancers, but for the four Vezori that dwelled within the city. Little did they know, northeast of the Elvish kingdom known as Fiori, within a mountain just behind the once beautiful Elvish garden known as Teresa, a beast unlike any other had awoken. As the ground shook violently within the Elvish lands, the hill behind burst like a volcano. Found within the wake of the ash and smoke was a massive beast, the size of a typical dragon. This beast let loose a roar that shook those with an earshot to their very core. Lava spewed from its rocky body in the midst of the chaos, lightning shooting from its arms and legs, clashing into the ground below. Its head shaped like an upside-down triangle. Tendrils located on either side of the beast's jaw spread apart as its mouth opened wide. The remains of a well-known scaly winged creature visible in the clutched fist of the monster's left claws. Half of the dragon had been eaten. After the roar subsided, the beast tossed the remainder of the dragon into its mouth and stood up, the hill crumbling beneath it. Glowing red eyes pierced through the foggy landscape, a hunger unlike any other driving this monstrosity to the capital of Fury. Monsters of all kinds and the stench of dragon breath attracting this... thing. The ground shook with every step from this beast, making great strides through open fields and rolling hills leading towards the decrepit city. The land that it touched crumbling and turning to molten rock with every step. There was a clear path of destruction following the monstrosity, and within 20 minutes the massive beast of molten lava was visible over the horizon, but only by its glow through the mist, followed by shots of lightning. This creature was the same height as the castle found within Fiori, but could take its time to get there for food of all kinds rushed to meet their delightful end in the gullet of the Turexo.